All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash. They give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who will on top of the truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to the brothers out there throughout the full on earth, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Brother Kazapa from the DC Church, come back with another good lesson. Do the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being a true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being a true name of the world he calls Jesus Christ. So um, I just want to quickly get this scripture real fast. And this is regarding Micah 2 and 10. I'm going to go ahead and read it. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. Okay? So the scriptures is telling us to rise ye and depart. Now, does this mean physically? No. We always go into it that the Lord... Is going to physically deliver us from this place, America. Okay, when this place, America, is being hit with thermonuclear missiles, all right, from all these nations, okay, in the, in the, in the, in the World War Three, okay, and the laser beams from the chariots when Lord Yahweh Shai returns, and what these people ignorantly call UFOs are the chariots of Israel, okay, all right, the Lord is going to deliver us during that time, all right, which is fastly approaching. But he's saying to rise in the part, what? Spiritually and mentally, okay? All right? There's a lot of spirits, okay? Because to be spiritual is, is to be after a spirit, okay? Um, there's a lot of spirits in this place, America. And a lot of them, majority of them, are evil, okay? But the spirit that we have, the Holy Spirit, okay, the Rakar Kadash, okay, uh, is from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright, and we have a totally separate spirit from this place, America, and this world. Okay, we promote righteousness, you know, the right way to be according to the Bible. Okay. The how to properly conduct yourself on the planet to produce life and prosperity. Okay. Um, we push forth those actions to be happening in earth. Okay. While while what America pushes the total opposite. Okay, all right. They push degeneracy, okay, which is the spirit behind that. Okay, uh, degeneracy, you know, and, and rebellion. That's the spirit of America. So the Lord is telling us to rise ye and depart, both mentally and spiritually. So we said the spiritual part, okay, but now is what that mental, that mind, okay, and how do we, um, you know, depart from this? We got to wash our mind, all right, with the word, all right. You know, you you have to wash your the filth of this place that's in your mind with the word. OK, it says for this is not your rest. This is not our rest. This is not our place of comfort. OK, because when you think of rest, you think of you getting comfortable. You, you know, you're 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 done from your labor. OK, you're done from your sentence. OK. All right. In this place, you know. We all gotta go get gotta get up and go to work. Okay, we're servants. You know, we're we're uh, uh, slaves in this captivity. So what? This is not our rest. This is not our you know final uh, place of uh, you know relaxation. Okay, it says because it is polluted. Yes, remember this place is polluted both spiritually and and, 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 and mentally and physically. All right, this is why the Lord got to deliver us. Okay, it says what well, it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction if you're fully invested to this society, which is crumbling right before your eyes. Okay, you're gonna have no hope, and it's gonna destroy you both, uh, you know, mentally and physically. And at the end of the day, the Lord will destroy you. Uh, uh, I said slot both mentally and spiritually, you're gonna be destroyed, and physically when the Lord. Sees that you don't want to depart, okay? Which is talking about two thirds of our people, all right, of the nation of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They don't want to depart from this place spiritually and mentally, so they're gonna have to be destroyed, okay, physically, all right. But the elect of the nation of Israel, they're rising and depart, departing, because they don't want this place to be their sore destruction, okay? Because, <clears throat> like I said, there's many spirits in this place, man, and there's, there's tons of spirits in this place. All right, but the right spirit, the Rakhar Kadash, the Holy Spirit, is the one that's guiding the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, 
and this sparked up because I was talking to, you know, a bunch of Jakes, you know, um, you know, and and Jake is, you know, tired of what's going on, and you know, in the world, but at the same time, Jake is not turning back to the Heavenly Father. Okay, how about Shmi Al Shai? Jake is trying to find every way, avenue, how to get things right except by turning back to the Lord and rising and departing out of this place of America. They love <clears throat> the American, the Western mind frame, which is what sorely destroying them. Okay. We see the conditions of how our people are and our people are sorely destroyed soon to be, you know, both spiritually, mentally and soon to be physically. Okay. So what well, we have to rise and depart and then, you know, separate ourselves from this world. Okay, you know, matter of fact, scriptures tell us to conform to the image of the sun, all right, which means to change. Conform. Let's see. Yep, it says, this is Romans 8 and 29. It says, for whom he did foreknow, he, uh, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of the son, of his son. All right. So what? The Lord foreknew the elect of the nation of Israel and predestinated the elect to be conformed, to change, to change their image, change their likeness, all right? the way they behave to the image of the son. All right. All right. To the way that, that the son, the only begotten son conducted himself. The way that he wants us to be, okay, which is a holy, righteous, royal way of being. It says that he might be firstborn among many brethren. Okay, so you know, hey, the elected nation of Israel, they're gonna, they're gonna, you know, convert and conform to the image of Yahweh Shai. Okay, instead of the image of this world, all right, which is a beast, you know, bastards, um you know, filthy way of life. Okay. All right. So I just want to quickly get that in the spirit, you know, you know, rising in the part, this is not our rest. This is not our final end. We have a kingdom waiting for us. The kingdom of heaven. All right. The kingdom of Lord Yahweh Shai, which is by default, the kingdom of Israel. So with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the heavenly father. And his only begotten son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash. I think double honest to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and tell me the truth according to the Bible. And I want to say shalom to the elect. Until next time, shalom.